What to do, YouTube? It's the boy Gaming Best back with another video, and we're gonna showcase probably the best character, if not definitely top three for sure, Sandelafon. This man is easy. Is all you have to generally do is learn time attacks, and if you're not really that good at time attacks anyway, you could like use light stat to reset the counter of like your hit. And you can just get a like full restart of your combo or your, your time attacks. So the, the way to play this character is this gauge completely matters. This is going to be your damage dealing phase and even your support phase, which definitely is going to matter in the new Lucilius boss fight. Now the easiest ways to build gauge for without skills is just literally time attacks. Uh, so boom and boom. Now the easiest way to do it. Mm, 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 do it again. Mm, mm. I'm messing up. Mm. Mm, there you go. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. And just do it. And you do it again. And, and you always use light stuff to reset it if you get the the uh, mess up of it. The timing is definitely weird. I'm not gonna hold it, but it's something that's not bad to get used to. Like, take you. I have you. I'm not getting into time attack consistently, but either way, you want to do the time attack. Well, there we go. Boom. 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 And boom. And then you want to do combo finishers after the combo. Now, another way to do it. Well, hold on. I might as well show you the gauge or the angel phase since I have this maxed out already. So the easiest way to just really get the like maximize damage and probably the best way either uh, is just do this but when you have the skill. Oops, I messed it up. But you want to do... Hold on, let me just restart that. Uh, la, 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 la. I probably should say this too. Mm. Uh, and you start changes. The light of hope will not die. Well, might as well show you how to get the uh, gauge up. So, without the combos, the real easier way to actually get it is from this skill right here, if I remember my buttons. There you go. Skills. This is a... So, skills I have to automatically get my gauge up. I have this. Just attack 12 times in a row. And you, if you do this perfectly, you get your gauge instantly. I have this because this comes up quick and it refills your gauge up quite good when it... Hit, and then you do your combo finisher this is good too because it does a great stun damage like a good amount of stun damage to me this is a mandatory skill as well and this for more gauge buildups now if you didn't want to run if you could like not want to run these two you could use this for attack and defense boost uh this for paralysis um this gives war elemental for free but I don't really suggest it because since everyone should have War Elemental already, but that does free up a slot. But this is more a communication thing. Even then, this is in your wing form anyway, so you might as well just, yeah, not even really equip this skill. Oh, and then you have this to uh, heal and remove debuffs, or uh, heal and remove debuffs, but remove debuffs only come from when you're in chromatic wings. Now for this skill, you just do this. Boom, 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 and boom, boom, and this. do this. It's over. This cancel out of it, like a part, and just start the triangle. And you want to probably add this, the you know, out of the move debuff or any buff. This for stun damage. Mm, and, mm, and do this, can't follow that. But whenever you have no way out up, instantly do this. And if you want, you can either do the combo finisher. And, can, and when you hit that, like, like, so like this. Boom, cancel out of this, so you're gonna be in a full animation. Or you do this, cancel, and then start range type. But out of way, you just wanna start spending range of that. This is one of the most easiest ways to, to do it. And to show how how good the other stuff uh, builds up. Farewell. No escape. Thunder. Uh, 
Yeah, you get you, you. when you're using all three, you get your game right up very fast. Now, when you are using, I don't know how you pronounce it, Talvio, you're definitely gonna want to like 100% focus on like getting used to that skill and the timing of it. Because if you miss it and you mess up one time or whatever, you just punish yourself, and yeah, that um, it's gonna be on cooldown for a long. Time, so Enough. definitely get this go. Like 100%. Oh yeah, I gotta know how to use this. Now, as far as build wise, because this character is pretty much easy, that's all you really need to know. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Gear. What I have, I have a tyranny crit ray on top. I, was, I used a uh, sigil synthesis. Damage cap and pool dodge, damage cap with the more onslaught, double alpha, tyranny potion holder, war elemental. I obviously get war elemental plus if you have it. I have not yet to get it. And I've just been doing other things, so I haven't been really putting much time into it. But war elemental plus 100%, obviously. I have an Aegis with auto revive. I, you definitely want Aegis for to be just above 40,000 HP. But honestly, if you was to do the new fight, you're going to get one shot out of the way. Unless you have like Stronghold or something. I have Concentrated Fire on top of Concentrated Fire for the extra range attacks. Because when you do this attack... Oh, hold on. Let me go back and forth. Alright. Now, when you do this attack, this count as a range attack. And yeah, you pretty much want to just keep have, have concentrated fire. But if you don't want to use concentrated fire, just do uh, stamina on top of stamina with sigil synthesis. That works too. But I just did concentrated fire because eh, why not? To me, that was the most easiest way. I was especially not having to worry about my health because times where you don't have potions, you don't have full health, you could just have that buff as all the time. The warpath sigil, 100% suggest this because his war passage was busted you gain 25 percent enhanced damage when your chromatic wings is active and you get your gauge up even faster so yeah definitely want this 100 percent uh you want a uh, uh, supreme primary all oh, the other sigil is not really worth it to be honest it was like more healing or something like that uh, whenever you get rid of debuff so it's really not that worth it's really not worth it at all so just have this to boost your damage cap and even more gain when doing square triangle attacks and obviously the damage cap sigil or you could say the terminus sigil or caster fog whatever you want to call it so uh for that extra 100 percent damage cap and 50 percent attack and obviously for the weapon we use the Ascension weapon to get the max damage and the actual Sigil Booster supplementary damage. Now, if I wanted to uh, like move around with this build, what I will do will have something replace probably this. Yeah, I probably will replace this. Actually, no. Uh, what would I replace? I was just saying, yeah, I'll replace this. Just because you'll get one shot in anyway most of the time. And you'll want to put on... Oh, she does not have that part of a bill. Uh, let me find a sigil. Trait level. Oops. There you go. Hold on. That's probably why. Uh, Berserker Echo. Berserker Echo is definitely a... A amazing sigil because you get automatic supplementary damage when you're at 25,000 or or more attack which you most of the time you should be since you have a terminus weapon because everyone should be having a terminus weapon if not you're selling and yeah berserker echo is definitely the way to go if you don't get do the mission you could make materials for it or whatever and go get one but it's not gonna be a plus I'm still trying to find a decent plus I mean give me if I can provoke for Berserker Echoes. And yeah, that will be about it for the build video. Now let me show you the results of it.
The end beckons. You cannot run. Paradise lost! Let's finish this quickly. Hit. 
Protect 